good. So wireless charging has been around for quite a few years now and it is really cool. You just place your device on the charger and it charges immediately. So as good as the, the technology is, there are a lot of devices that actually run on 5 volts and a few thousand milliamps, but that don't have these capabilities. So I'm going to show you today how to create a device that lets you charge every USB powered device wirelessly. I just with just a little soldering and a little taping. So let's get started. If you're curious, this is my homemade um, charging box. So if we open it, we have the QE charger I connected. This is the coil and this is the electronics and it's going down to the power source. You can get it off eBay for, for like five bucks or something. And you should add it on top of your battery inside the casing. So if you put this on the charger, you get the power on the connectors. Come on. Here we are. See? Five volts. So first thing we have to do is to get rid of um, the plastic around it. You see? So that is what's making it huge. We have the coil, some electronics and the output. So what we are going to do is we remove this parts so we don't need this. Funny thing is they actually have a third connector here but it's not doing anything since they are two since they are just two connected. Yeah. They didn't connect the third one. Ta da easy peasy. Oh my god our USB connector which we want to connect to it and we are just interested in the power uh, power ports so we can neglect the ports in the middle and on the left hand side viewing from the back and <laughs> in this direction this is plus and this is minus so we're just going to connect them like yeah but obviously a little more elaborate we don't like the fumes on our face. I still have to improve my fume extractor, it's not perfect. So therefore for now we're just blowing it away. So back to the soldering. It's obviously being plus since it's kind of red and this being ground since this is not red. Oh wow, second try. Ooh, first try. <laughs> one thing about these, these QI charger is that they only work in one direction. So you see this is this is the coil and underneath it is some plastic and the plastic actually is really really rigid. So it works in this direction but it won't work in that direction. So if you put it this way up it doesn't work so you have to take that into account. I'll just plug in my power meter and you see it's chichen 5.2 volts and maybe no amperages because yes we didn't connect anything to it but we can change that so we put this in there the phone place it inside place the other thing inside so align everything and beep so it's working. What you can do now is, so we can put this like this together. Remember this side has to face the other coil. Take the sticky foil, sticky foil, sticky foil. Perfecto. And that is what I did. So last time, before the video, I prepared this device. You can see, yes, you can see it. Use the coil. Then the electronics, then some cable, and in this case, I just used um, a micro micro USB, so the tiniest for phone charging. 
I used this to charge my noise cancellation headphones. Because at work I just wanted to lay it down. So when I went into the break or something, I just put it on the side of the headphones, always plugged in, and I was able to charge it. Okay, so I hope you get some cool ideas what you can do with the QI techniques. It doesn't have to be USB, but for 5 volt applications, USB is the, the best connector, in my opinion. Have fun, and thanks a lot for watching.